Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hi, welcome to Your Beer Sucks. I'm Andrew. This is John. Corey Treverson. <laughs> <laughs> we'll split a beer and discuss it. Then each of us will pass a judgment. Sucks or doesn't suck. In the end, majority rules. It's not your real name. My real name is Miguel Sanchez. So for episode two, beer number one. Ballast. Ballast Point. Victory at Sea, Porter with coffee and vanilla. I have looked forward to this for some time. I've never had it, and I've been saving it for doing Your Beer Sucks. I am excited. Ooh. Pour the beer. Man. Pour favor. Just pour, hey. Pour the fucking beer. You notice how I always pour my own first? Yeah. That would... It's because you're rude. Yeah. yeah. I don't give a shit about you fuck faces. You shouldn't. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh. Yeah? I love... Got that coffee. I love yeah. the label. It's got... Um, is that 10%? It's, it's got a skeleton G-G. fire... G-G. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a skeleton pirate oh, clinging yeah. to a fucking ship's wheel with a skeleton parrot on his shoulders. In a goddamn thunderstorm, that is one that's, of the most awesome. That's badass. Ever. Wow, that is badass. Like, I think this is the first time we've mentioned anything about the bottle, dude. Art, but this bottle art's fucking awesome. Wow, that's holy fuck. That smells great. It's that's good. Really, really that smells really malty bouquet. It's and awesome. it's and like coffee as shit, but it, oh, yeah. but like it doesn't have the, the, the Maxwell taste. House fucking coffee Maxwell smell, but a bunch of coffee beers. Yes. Coffee They're beers. like, oh, let's see, we put uh, four drops from our industrial uh, drum of uh, coffee flavoring. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, and this like smells tastes, like legit. It smells shit. great, and like you get all that coffee on the inhale, but like when you taste it, that like, like the sweetness of the vanilla is there. That is great. Uh, description. Holy from, fuck dude, balls. This is one of the best porters I've ever had. Wow, that this is, is awesome. This is really fucking good. From the brewery about this beer. Oh, yeah. Uh, our Victory at Sea Imperial Porter is a bold, smooth brew with just the right amount of sweetness. We infuse this robust porter with vanilla and San Diego's own Cafe Calibria. Cafe Calibria coffee beans. The subtle roasted nuts and minimal acidity of cold brewed coffee balances yeah. perfectly with the sweet caramel undertones of the malt creating a winning combination for your palate no Dude, fucking god shit god damn right that's and good the finish is fucking great and you too. know what how often does the um the brewery's bullshit um that's like self description tasting notes we, actually we, we, turn out beer's great. being we, 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 true that's that's yeah, like I spot think, on I think whoever wrote that actually uh, knows actually, what they're doing Actually yeah. had this beer, have tasted it, and... Knows like, what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Now, this is... Oh, my God, it smells so good. Where did you get this? Florida. Oh, shit. That's... <laughs> this uh, I don't know if you can get it here. I was going to say, because I have been on the lookout for Ballast Point. This, uh, this is on par. This is on par with Southern Tier. You know what? Um, I, I, before I would claim that, I would want to taste it on draft. But but I will say you know like Southern Tier I've had in a bottle tasted like any other beer on draft and that this kind of does too this is this is really good dude the finish is like you just drank some coffee exactly and like I like I've had a bit of a long day I've been out even a bit of that mouth dryness all day. like you've been drinking coffee and like you know how I'm like always over here like whenever I'm here I have a cup of coffee yeah you're always like chugging fucking coffee like, yeah I don't yeah. I don't need that today this is just, just always running around. Dude, 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 dude. You're chugging fucking coffee because you're coffee. 25. Yeah, it's like me and Alvin. I got shit to do. <laughs> Man's got shit. You got like 15 bands, full time job, research. Well, not research anymore. Now we're on a master's degree. Mm. Master's degree. Yeah, he's done doing anything productive. Now he's working on his master's degree. <laughs> I well, bet okay, you'd I'm be trying... real smart with us dropouts. No, well, <laughs> I'm not a dropout, man. That's true. I finished. 
They just said I owed him a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that counts as a dropout. <laughs> that's okay. They'll be technically the, speaking. That's okay. They'll be in the news real soon, like ITT was. Damn. Yeah, yeah. that's. They're going after yeah. fucking for-profit colleges now. That's probably Fuck those motherfuckers. That's probably for the best. And you know what? This is the guy that should like lead the fucking campaign against. He should them. be like, "Er." They should be like, "Can we have some of your delicious beer?" No, you can have no <laughs> beer. <laughs> Who's that fuck-faced company that made that awful beer last episode? Abita. Abita. Uh, only Abita for you, <laughs> man. <laughs> Honestly, I feel kind of bad that we used it for your beer sucks, and I shared it with you, fuck faces. Because this beer doesn't suck. I'm, I'm going to you know go what, ahead and guys, say it right now. This beer is too good for us and our shitty little show. Uh, maybe. I mean, we are <laughs> we are a bunch of pud witches. I mean, like, there's somebody who knows the craft and the art of beer, and they made this. Yeah, seriously. This, this is, this is, these are the moments that make tasting a bunch of different beers worth the effort. Yeah, because you, you sit through some stuff that just makes you want to throw your glass against the wall and walk out the door. You can send free stuff to us, <laughs> posters, beer. Beer. Uh, preferably beer. Beer. But other things like posters and stuff would be cool too. Yeah, and beer. Shirts. And beer. <laughs> yeah. Bottle openers. Beer. beer. Yeah. Beer. Beer. Yeah. Beer. Um, uh-huh. Lots of beer. Lots of this. Beer. Yeah, this, this, this specifically beer. this beer. This one that we're drinking now that's really good that I would like lots more. That we more. paid for ourselves and would rather not. <laughs> that is another thing we buy all of our beers we, nobody gives us anything to review so. well Andrew's mom buys some of them but I mean that still counts right yeah I mean it's, it's not like they're like promotional it's like hey man you should try this beer and give it a really 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 good review yeah it's hey we got this beer let's try it we bought it at our local grocery store or some, and in some cases not local and that's store. why when it sucks I don't feel bad about saying how much it sucks because I spent my goddamn money hey, on it you paid for the goddamn ticket dude I bought that Abita fuck that Abita that's I so paid cool. money for it they owe you a refund they owe me crackers <laughs> <laughs> we used a lot of crackers getting that shit out of our mouth <laughs> they do owe you fucking crackers as far as I'm concerned one line of Publix <laughs> generic unsalted top saltines. Jesus. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I would. I'm God, gonna go ahead I and just, say that beer does not does, suck in any way, shape, or form. One of the best porters I've had. Period. That's does does not good. suck. And I've I keep, had probably at least twenty or thirty different porters. I keep smelling new mm. aromas in this. I new drank mine too fast. I feel dumb. Is there any left in the bottle? There might be droplets. I poured the last droplets. You might want to go like this, you know, really get out of there. Yeah, kind of squeeze the end of it. This is so good. That's really, really good. Holy moly! All right, what's next on the docket? Beer number two, Dogfish Head, Apra Hop. So it's like an IPA with apricot? I'll, I'll, go, ahead, I'll go ahead and read the description. Yeah, it's an IPA. Apra Hop? Apra Hop? Apra, what's the proper pronunciation on that? Who gives a fuck? Nobody cares. Apra Hop. Apra Hop. I bet that's the kind of beer that's like a fucking lumberjack on the lake. Are you apricot. from Oop North? I'm from up north. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Aprahop is an American IPA brewed with Pilsner and Crystal Malts. Crystal what? Crystal Malts. Ah. What do you think I said? Crystal meth? Well, you know. It's massively <laughs> beer better. <laughs> it's ma- It's massively hopped in the in the continuous fashion. Of course. Ah, Jesus. And the flavor is complemented by the addition of apricot juice. After fermentation, the beer is dry hopped with apricot irresponsible juice. amounts of amarillo hops. Ooh, I like amarillo hops. Irresponsible amounts of them, though. Maybe we'll uh, see. We'll see. This sounds irresponsible. The beer has. A I like their aroma minute series, with the apricot playing a supporting role. The flavor is rich with late hop notes and is bitter, and its bitterness is tempered by just the right amount of sweet maltiness and fruity undertones from the apricot. Well, let me tell you my experience with uh, Dogfish Head. Dogfish Head was a beer brewery that I was really excited about from reading all about them because they're so experimental and I love experimental shit when it comes to beer. But 
all of the beers I've had by them, except for their Minute IPA series and their Midas Touch, yeah. has been, well, horrible. Um, You're not really giving and, me... But... Great content. Smelling this like out of the bottle. Oil in there. Smelling this out of the bottle, it smells really good. Let's see here. It's not horrible. It's only a little No, pissy. this smells good as shit to me. Yeah, well, this is... A little bit pissy, but not bad. This isn't like... This isn't like the hop executioner. It isn't like hops. No, this has that juicy, like really fruity, citrusy smell. Oh man, that smells really fucking good. And it's, you can smell the apri apricot on it. You know, I love the, apricot. You know what's not bad? He loves apricot. I do. That's. I mean, it will depend somewhat on whether or not you like apricot. I suppose. This is. I'm ambivalent toward apricot. I, I don't. I eat meat and I eat. Like starchy food. I don't. You know what? <laughs> it's it's good, but it's not as good as the smell suggests. The aroma it it just fucking falls short and gets soapy. So that's a that's a disturbingly good adjective to describe. Like the it is like a little bit feel. dish soapy, but yeah, it's but, like when it's first entering your mouth, you're kind of like, well, there could be some interesting complex stuff going on. By the time you realize that it's in there, it just goes soapy on me. Let me see that bottle. But it smells really damn good. It's this dude with an axe, and there's apricots in the background, and he's got some hops in his hand. Yeah, bouquet's good. The beer's not. I don't think this would even grow on me. It's just too damn soapy. It tastes like a glass, a glass somebody didn't finish cleaning out or something. I think we'll have our did you Did you... Not finish cleaning up the glass. No, I did. I did clean the glasses <laughs> out. He did clean the glasses. Out. Um, I um, and besides the last, I didn't use soap. Mm -hmm. I just cleaned them with lots and lots of water so that there okay. wouldn't be any residue. And the last beer that was in your glass was the porter. The porter. That you don't you really taste like. any of that porter in there. No. That's so he soapy. so so he washed them. Uh, you know. But, you know what? I think we'll I'm have gonna, our. I'm gonna, I, I was going to say I, I'm going to let this one ride for a minute. I think we're going to have our first disagreement of the series that I like it. Well, I problem? mean, I don't. It's, <laughs> it's not a world beater by any means. I don't think it's like the best IPA I've ever had, but it's good. I, I would I would buy it again. Damn, we're already going to the crackers. You've made up your mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he hates IPAs. I it's going to have to be like a really either a really good or a really bland IPA oh, for geez, him to like so, it. So this is this is riding on me. This is on you. You are the tiebreaker. I know. Like, Majority rules. Does have it you suck? I mean, yeah, but I don't know. I kind of dig the. Uh, I was gonna call it album art for you a know second. What? I feel like I'm starting to <laughs> no, the um, the bottle art. You know what? It's it's fitting for the beer. I think the more I smell or, it, or, or at least what it's going for. I may be full of shit, but the more I smell it. The more I start smelling things like like spiced apple cider type fucking shit in you know, it, I can smell I, like it smells like cidering spices. Yeah, no, I uh, and I don't know I if it that. has it. And I wasn't actually listening when you were reading this. Do you want me to reread it? I'm gonna no, reread it. No, you know what <laughs> reread it. I think it could be like Dawn dish soap, like apple cider. Yeah, apple cider flavored Dawn flavor. dish soap. Yeah. No, I like this. This is good. This is this is fucking solid. I'm on the fence. Hold on. And this is this is what's wrong with you. Th is it? Mm. It is. That I like bullshit. It sucks. I mean, it's it's not offensive. The company shouldn't be burned to the ground or anything like another one. <laughs> I don't know. That I starts this... with an A and ends with beta. <laughs> I just don't like it. Ah, uh, beta. I don't know. You know what? After after much sipping. Mm -hmm. And smelling. And smelling. You Be know sure what? To get I'm a cracker. Gonna, Be sure to get a cracker. I'll, I'll get a cracker at the end. I'm going to say that this beer doesn't suck. <laughs> I say it doesn't suck. Wow. Well, at least we finally have some disagreement for once. Yep. I was starting to worry that, you know, like this whole thing was predicated on the fact that you hate IPAs. I like IPAs. I like everything. I, you like everything. Like literally everything. You will drink anything, and I am really, really picky. And you are, <laughs> you are fairly picky, but but you have specific things that you just go for. Specific it, my styles you hate. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, this beer has an impressive bouquet. Mm-hmm. 
But after that, it just falls apart to me. It just dish soaps. I that's, think that's what it does to me. And that may be a genetic thing. Like the way that some people taste cilantro as minty and some taste it as dish soapy. Mm-hmm. So I taste cilantro as dish soapy, but I me like too. it. Me too. But I like, like it despite that. But I taste blue cheese as minty. Really? Yeah. I taste blue cheese as fucking gross. As like, as like the shitty smell that comes out of a dumpster behind a restaurant after it's been sitting in the sun for several days. To me, that's blue cheese. To me, give me some of that. You can. To me, that's a beat. Yeah. You can have a little bit. Man, it smells awesome. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't taste it like as this... good as it smells. Yeah. And that's unfortunate. But that's, to me, in my experience, kind of par for the course yeah. with um, dogfish head. Yeah. But it doesn't taste bad. It tastes good. And the smell is amazing. I can't give it anything other than it doesn't suck. Yeah. This, the more that I've, the more that I've had it, this is actually, it's actually not bad. I think we're going to end up with... Almost every episode with me, like with my nose just stuffed in a glass most of the it time. <laughs> it sucks and it sucks in an insidious way. Good, a... good bouquet, awful fucking beer. I just like I get like I, I guess you can I would feel rather, like it betrays you. I would rather like it like it sets up like it's, it's like, going to be something it. really nice. You should have been a good beer, but you weren't. I would rather be blinded by lightning than drink like a whole bottle of this fucking beer. Damn. Wow, that is that is some harsh that's harsh a, opinion. That's a bold statement, sir. Mm-hmm. And and yet I would I would buy this a second time and drink it recreationally and not just not just to film my reaction. I don't know if I would buy it, but like if someone's like, "Hey, man, you want some of this? You want?" Some? I was like, "Yeah, I'll drink that." I bought close. some April hop. You want some April hop? I'd be like, "Well, we can sit around and smell it, but I'm not gonna fucking drink it." <laughs> Yeah, gonna, would, would you buy the uh, the dogfish head Aprahop incense? Not incense, or Yankee the, candle. Or Yankee candle. <laughs> Yankee the Yankee candle. candle. I would. I, I mean, would. I probably would too. That's. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that would that would be a good Yankee candle. That would be awesome, actually. You're welcome. I would not buy the great idea. I would not buy the ribeye steak though. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> what dogfish head Aprahop? Yank. Ribeye, <laughs> bone bone in twenty four ounce ribeye, mm-hmm. and the whole thing would taste like a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but it would smell good as it arrived. It's like, to the oh, table. God. like oh, this smells so good. Oh yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh, man. fuck. oh man, what the fuck? What the and yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck. Like, get the fucking cook out here. What the fuck, man? <laughs> like you hate it. I like it, and you think it's just over the line into not sucking. It doesn't suck. It's not like that's not a beer that I would go out and. But we all agree that it has a brilliant bouquet. Oh, dude! Yeah, yeah. yeah. It smells great. It's it's. Um, you know what they should call this? They should call this like the fucking betrayer. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to call the betrayer. Well, you know, the when. I, like, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is going to be a Sam Adams. And no. my relationship with Sam Adams is very negative. Every time I think that I'm going to like something they do, it turns out to be a failure. And when I had the um, that uh, uh, Finnish style one that's got the juniper in it, I was like, this has to be good. They can't fuck that up. It's going to be amazing. So I bought it after so many Sam Adams disappointments. <laughs> And I took it home and poured a glass of it. And I was looking forward to it so much. And then tasted it and just went, you have failed me for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's our verdict. That's a, that's a two to one. Doesn't suck. Two to, our first disagreement. In our, our first split decision with Mike with a very emphatic sucks. All right, beer number three. Sam Adams. Sam Adams. Sam Adams. Sam Adams. Ooh, 
Sam Adams for it, it, is, it is an autumn beer. Sam Adams Oktoberfest. In 1810, the Oktoberfest tradition was born in Munich when they celebrated their crown prince's wedding with a special beer and a 16-day party. Our version of this classic style blends hearty malts for a deep, smooth flavor with notes of caramel, creating a brew that's perfect for the season or whatever you're celebrating. On the label on the neck, it's slightly different. It says, our version of this classic style blends rich malts for a hearty, smooth flavor. Interesting. Yeah, they, they can't stay consistent, can they? Can't. That's now, probably because they're fucking drunk. <laughs> well, <laughs> but uh, apparently they changed the recipe, notab- uh, reci- recipe notably for this. Yeah. I've never had the previous Oktoberfest. I've had many Sam Adams beers, but never the Oktoberfest. There's some unpleasant funk on the bouquet for me. Yeah. I'll it's not that. It's not a beat up, but it's there, you know? Uh, What did you say? What kind of beer is this? It is... Now, okay, here's where I'm going to disagree with Sam Adams, because traditionally Oktoberfest Like the beer are, maker or the founding father type? The beer makers. Yeah. Okay. Because um, <laughs> I, I don't... We shouldn't get political. That's, that's lame. No, yeah. people, people okay. aren't watching for that. Right. Um, but no, um, traditionally Oktoberfest-style beers are actually Marzen's. Yeah. Which is a traditional German brew that's been going on long before 1810 or yeah 1810. Yeah, this, like, this is saying no, but like when you get an Oktoberfest beer, traditionally it's going to be a Marzen style beer. I don't know if that's what does it actually this, say Marzen on here? No, it just says Lager. Wires. Well, then I would argue that this is already false advertisement. This is not a <laughs> Oktoberfest beer. It, now it smells like vomit. It can't decide if it wants to be watery or shitty. <laughs> now I will say that this is better than years past. They did change it's it. Shitty, and then it has like a watery finish. It's like to me, it's like it's like caramel apple with strong overtones of, of water of human vo- <laughs> human vomit. This isn't different enough from Ice House to warrant the different packaging and labeling. I will say it's better than the last time that I had it, but it's still, it's lacking. It's just, there's nothing there. It's watery, and what little bit is there is just absolutely revolting. Nope. I will not drink any more of this. (sighs) Nope. This is, no, yeah. You want this shit? I don't know. I'll 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 finish finish what I have for the the sake of the show. This is fucking swill. Like I said... This isn't different enough from Ice House to even warrant the different packaging. It's I'll got say... That, it's got that awful macro brew. Yeah, it does. And you know what? The thing is, like, Sam Adams is this, like... They're like a... Are they a big micro brew or are they a they small are, macro brew? And they I think are they have pretens- macro craft. Macro craft is what that I is. I think they have pretensions to being a craft brewery, but their shit is so consistently fucking awful... And in, awful in the way that macro brews, macro loggers are, that you might as well. Uh, it's just. This is Ice House with food coloring in it. Yeah. Hardy and smooth with deep. Mm. Man, th- <laughs> this just isn't. Who the up. fuck did they hire to write, like, a paragraph about this fucking beer? I... Not me. Like a that. political spinmeister or something? Maybe, maybe Ilham Garrett. <laughs> could have been Garrett. Garrett could have done it. This, yeah, this, know, this just, this just everything I it. say is true. Especially the lies. Especially the lies. No, but seriously, like, uh, this is fucking really just low rent, bottom of the barrel, you know, Ice House, Milwaukee's Best, that kind of shit. Just with like food coloring and thrown in like a different fucking. I would model. prefer. I, I would prefer Yingling. I will. To this. Oh, Yingling is far superior to this. I will say that it tastes better than it smells. Yeah. Because it smells so supremely fucking terrible, but it tastes like shit too. You know what though? I think <sighs> I think the all-time champion. God. For off-putting bouquet is going to have to be a beta. Because that, yeah, that that amber, smelled like that amber was that rough. smelled like a dirty pissy dick. That was the nose on that was rough. Oh my god! 
The nose on this is it's nothing except for I don't know, man. I, no, no, I don't no, know. I don't to like me, the, I honestly, don't like the nose on this. It smells like stomach acid to me. This smells like Miller High Life. Like if you do this, and you, that smells like Miller hey, High Life. You know what? Miller High Life did nearly make me vomit. That it is so fucking revolting. This is disappointing because I, I was. Is? So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had this before. I've had this before. So, tell me, this is disappointing because because the. People who were reviewing it was like, oh yeah, like 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 they changed the taste. It's like because I remember like when I had the last time, it, it, it had this sweetness to it that was like almost disgusting. It was like really 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 off putting. Yeah, they cut down on it, but the beer still sucks. You know what this beer is? It's <clears throat> this beer is a no, middle, not middle sweet, manager but... at the end of his fucking road. He sits at home every night with the gun in his lap, and one day, one day, he'll have the courage to do it. That's this fucking beer. Yeah, that's. I agree. That's just. I agree. Yeah. This beer is fucking suicidal. Yeah. Yeah. He's and and he's in middle management. Uh, middle management is a great, great metaphor for this beer. Oh yeah, this beer is. I mean, it's not even awful. It's just, Sam Adams Brewer. You Patriots. know what this beer is? This beer is fucking nihilistic. That's yeah. what this beer is. I can't even say that it's like. Yell out loud, awful. At least Abita makes a terrible statement. And they're just this like, fucking beer is just. Abita's like, we're terrible, and how do you like that? <laughs> this beer is just like, mm, uh, I phoned it in. It's like, oh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. It must be good, right? Surprise. Oh, it's getting to be that time of year again. Let's phone in our fucking recipe. Yeah, uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Yeah, this <sighs> sucks. This is the taste of soul crushing corporate grind. Yeah, that's what is. this is. Yeah, you know. Oh, you know what this? You know what this beer is? Working in the mail room. Huh. This beer is working in the fucking mail room, man. There's so many. There's so many. There's so many beers that do this style so much more justice, and this just. This is like bottom of the barrel Oktoberfest. It's just not good. It's even disappointing at being disappointing. It's like. <laughs> Honestly, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I had I had hopes for this beer going in. It's like, oh, you know, change the recipe. Maybe they made it a decent beer. And it's just lacking in, in, in all aspects. It's just, it, it has nothing. I finished it, yes. But I'll drink anything. But this sucks. I'm not finishing this. Fuck this beer. I'm not finishing those. Fuck this beer. Let's throw crackers in it. <laughs> no, I don't want to clean that up again. Okay. <laughs> as as the resident like gl- glass washer. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to metaphorically throw crackers in it. Okay. Have at it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll soak up the bad. <laughs> We don't have enough crackers. (laughs) That whole box of crackers in the corner ain't gonna fix that beer. No. Tell you what. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it sucks. Fucking sucks. That beer fucking sucks. So that's that's the end of our episode, and um, we'll see you next time. And just remember, life is too short to be caught drinking bad beer.